Let's now start with Golang and installing on Windows machine. So I have git bash open and if I type go, I will get command not found because the go is not installed on our Windows machine. So I will go on Google and search for Golang. Yeah, you will get this website which is golang.org. But there is one another website recently launched which is called go.dev. This is extremely useful website and all the resources of Go is now combined at one platform which is go.dev. So here you can see we have a company using Go, why you need to choose Go, then what you can do with the Go language and where you need to learn and various things. So it's just a place where you can get everything like all the packages you can search here the packages for the go so that's an extremely easy uh, platform also this go dot golang dot org is and the same and the place where you will find everything related to go but in this website it's not uh, properly managed but this website is extremely organized so either you can click here on download go or you can click here on get started and then click on installing go. So you will get same thing. So here if I go and click on download go, you can see I am on the same page from both of the website. So I'm on Windows. So I click here on MSI and yeah, it will start to download. And now this file is downloaded. So let's click and let's start installing it. So I will click on next, accept the term, next once more. It will asking for the path. So C go directory is good for me. Click on install and now it's installing. So it is installed and click on finish. But how we will check that it is installed properly. So I will once more open the git bash. So git bash and let's try to make it big and now i will type go and let's hit enter yes you can see we are having go is a tool for managing go source code but by chance if you are not getting this even after installing even after restarting your uh, computer you can go to the documentation once more and it says test your installation and the problem if you are facing like uh, let, let's first show you so I will say go ENV that means environments so you can see which we have uh, like uh, go path which is where we are having all our go programs so it is uh, user and then go directory and then we will must have go root so go root is the root where we have installed our go lang so that is actually saying here you need to set your environment variable if you go on this website you can see we have set up for windows and you can just search for environment variable and you need to put this thing on your environment variable so let me show you how you need to just search for environment variable and here you can just so uh, you can click on environment variable then the user variable go path which we have seen here go path where is that yeah this one go path is because of this so if I just change it to go uh, lang and hit ok then once more ok and then once again I will say go env and you can see uh, it's not changed I need to restart git bash so I will just once more type go env and this time you will see go path is now changed to go hyphen lang that is because of this but the problem if you are facing if you are getting command not found is because you need to set your path so this is the path variable you need to edit it and here there are lots of things but at the last you can see it is given c 
colon go slash bin which is extremely important you need to give actual path of bin folder so if i now go to the directory where we have installed our golang which is c then go directory and here is the bin so you need to copy this path here and then paste inside your environment variable just like this click ok ok and ok then just restart your terminal or git bash whatever you are using and then everything will work fine so if you type go it will surely give you go uh, related things just like i am getting here so you can see you can anytime just check for go environment variable where everything are set so this is how you need to install go on your windows machine but what editor you can use yes i have vs code so i'm going to use the vs code for go tutorials but uh, let's see what extension we need to use so first thing we need to type on the extensions part this go this go extension is given by microsoft rich go language support for visual studio code we need to install it one more is go docs it is very easy and it is very useful when you are doing something with the go programming and suddenly you need to check something specific on your documentation then you can directly go to the documentation from by using this package so these two packages are extremely useful for go programming language on go programming on visual studio code and if you are not familiar with this let's search for go land go land ide is extremely clever ide for go programming created by jetbeans it is not absolute free it is having 30 day trial and you can download it you will not regret it it is extremely awesome but because i have uh, love towards vs code i am going to use vs code so this is how you can start and set up your uh, golang on your windows machine so let's start the golang journey from the next episode